Are you aware of what you can do with Power BI Desktop and Reporting Services 2016? That and more coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this last week, we had some good updates, so let's dig in and check them out. First on the list is a blog post by Melissa Coates where she talks about Azure Data Catalog and how to get up and running quickly in a demo test environment. She talks about some of the base requirements in terms of it needing to be an organizational account versus a Microsoft account. Also, the fact that there's only one catalog per organization. That's regardless of how many subscriptions that you have. And then she walks through how to actually go and get all of that done. So if you're interested in Azure Data Catalog and what that can do for your organization, be sure to check out this blog post. And now, folks, it's time for Who Do You Trust? Hubba, 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 money, money, money. Who do you trust? That's right, Power BI has been added to Microsoft's Trust Center, which means you can go to one spot to find out all of the certifications that Power BI has been certified on from a government perspective. If that interests you and your organization, be sure to check out this post. Next on the list was the service update for Power BI in the month of April. There were a couple of items that were included in this. One of the big ones was ExpressRoute. So ExpressRoute allows you to have a private connection between the Azure data centers and your local environment, whether that be a colo facility or your actual on-premises environment. And this allows you for some guaranteed reliability that you wouldn't have normally just going over the internet. So this is now supported in Power BI. Also, the fact that we have our first update to RLS for cloud data sets and the fact that those are now supported with organizational content packs. The ability to add Vimeo videos as well as YouTube videos as tiles for your dashboard. Analyze in Excel is now available to all users as well as the ability when you're inside of Excel, we can handle multiple Power BI accounts now. So if you happen to have different sign-in for different organizations or just different users that you want to handle inside of Excel, you can now do that with Analyze in Excel. Next on the list was an update for the Power BI mobile apps. There were several updates in this post, one of which is that you can use SQL Server Reporting Services 2016 integration with the Android app now. Also, there were several updates for Windows and the ability to do global searches inside of the iOS app. So be sure to check out this blog post if you're using the mobile apps to see what features are available to you now. Last on my list for today is a blog post by Sam Lester, who's a PFE at Microsoft. And he looks at the Power BI desktop integration with Reporting Services 2016 as part of the on-premises solution. I talked about this in a previous video, but if you want a good blog post that just gives you a quick recap of what's available for you today in Power BI Desktop, be sure to check out this blog post as he walks through what's available for you. Also, if you haven't seen the new Reporting Services portal, he's got some good screenshots in there to give you a quick look at what it looks like. Let me know which item you were most excited about up in the upper right on the poll. Also, you can leave that down in the comments below and see what other people were saying. Also, be sure to like and share this video with your friends. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this where I take a look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works, how to troubleshoot something, or look at a new feature. And really, this is about you. I want to help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.